buddy. Three, two, one, and action. What is up, Travels with Buddy Nation? On the Travels with Buddy station. Today is Tuesday, January the 11th. And um, it's very cold. It's about seven or eight degrees outside. And uh, I might go for a walk later, but I don't think I'm gonna take Bud for a walk because it might be too cold for him. It might be too cold for his paws. But he does have a lot of hair on him. He's, he's got a lot of, he's got a nice warm coat, so I don't know. But I'm definitely gonna go for a walk. At least it's sunny out, but it's very cold today. And for an exercise today, for a workout today, I'm gonna do a dumbbell underhanded bench press. This is a great exercise for work in the upper chest. It's an awesome exercise. It's, it's an exercise that I, I just uh, learned how to do um, a few months ago. And it, it's a really good exercise. It, it works almost like the same muscles that you'd be working if you did like an incline uh, bench press, works the upper chest. So it's great for like, if you just have a flat bench and you don't have an incline uh, press, it's a, it's a great exercise to do. Or if it's just a good variation instead of doing inclined uh, bench presses or inclined dumbbell presses to do the, the underhand uh, flat bench and it'll work, the, it works the upper chest. It's, it's a very good exercise. Um, basically when you do the exercise, you wanna hold it, instead of holding the dumbbells like this with your palms down, you wanna hold the dumbbells with, with your palms up, like facing your, your or, or facing upwards. Like with your palms, probably when you're bending your elbows, they'd be facing your, your body. And basically, you're gonna, you bring the weight down like this. And even though you're bringing the weight down when your elbows are, are pretty low to like where your rib cage is, it's working your upper chest. So basically, you're bringing the weight down like this and you're bringing it up like this. Instead of traditionally holding the, with your palms down with the, and your elbows would be flared out a little more and you'd be doing a regular bench press like this or a dumbbell press like this. And there's also another variation. If you have dumbbells, you can even grab the dumbbell from the side, which I did a video a few months back. If you're subscribing to the channel, you can check it out where your, your uh, palms are actually facing each other and you're doing the press like this. Each variation works a different part of your chest muscles and actually a different angle in your triceps it's, it works, you know, muscles from a different, works different muscle groups, slightly different muscle groups. So you can do your, your dumbbell press like this, you can do it like this, or you can do them with the palms facing each other like this. So today I'm gonna to do the underhand, the underhand, it's, a, it's an awesome variation. It's one that I, I've never, I've, I've re never really tried till uh, just a few months ago, I was reading about it and I was like, oh, I'll give it a try. And it's a really good exercise, it's very effective. And I will demonstrate that exercise in Bud. You can spot me in the other room. As you can see, his hair is getting long, it's growing, but he needs that long hair because it's so cold outside. But it's still good to take those walks, even in the cold. Just dress up warm, layer up, and uh, dress up warm and take those walks, right, Bud? And, uh, but I think I'll just take Buddy out in the backyard today because it, it's cold for him. And, uh, I don't know if I want to take him out on a, on a long walk because <laughs> it's eight, eight degrees is a little, little chilly for him. But um, once it gets warmed up, he'll be going outside and doing his walks, right, bud? And he wanted to be on the camera for a little bit because his, his hair is looking awesome. His coat is growing in nice and thick. He's got that winter coat. And, um, but maybe I'll take him for a ride. Yeah, he likes going for rides. If you can't go for a walk, you'll go for a ride. But he can't get no exercise when I just take him for a ride. <laughs> well, anyways, I will demonstrate this exercise, but you can spot me from the other room. All right. And oh, yes, I'm still, if you noticed, I'm still. Uh, turning my GoPro on manually because the app on my phone, it uses three gigabytes of storage of uh, that app, the, the GoPro app, and I'm, my phone is getting low on storage. That's why I'm manually turning off and on the video, but 
eventually I probably what I'll do is I'll delete some of my apps that I'm not using very much and then I'll re-upload my GoPro app because I do like my GoPro app. Alright, so without further ado, I will demonstrate the dumbbell underhanded uh, press. And it's a, it's a good exercise and if you're into working out, it's, it's, a, it's an exercise that you don't want to um, look, you know, overlook. You should you should give it a try because it, it's a, it's a really good exercise for for working the upper chest muscles. So this right here would be the I'll demonstrate the traditional. This is the traditional dumbbell press, with your palms facing away from your body. It's a good it's a good way to do a dumbbell press, which I did videos on. And this is another variation of a dumbbell press where your palms are actually facing each other. Very good uh, dumbbell press, as you can see. But today we're going to do a dumbbell press with your palms facing it twisted towards your body, and this really works your upper chest. So count along with me. I'll try to get about fifteen reps. variations when I did the exercise like this when I did the exercise like this and I did the exercise like this it works different parts of your chest and different parts of your shoulder and even different areas of your tricep because I noticed when I had my palms upwards doing the, the um, oof, do, doing the, um, the reverse press I, I felt it in my triceps in a, in a, in a uh, different area of my tricep. Really good exercise. I'll probably put a little bit more weight on and, um, and I'll do a couple more sets. And I know for me, this, this exercise in particular, um, I, I don't need to use as much weight because my, I'm just not used to doing this exercise. With a regular dumbbell press, I can use a lot more weight. It's, it's, for me, it's much easier because that's the traditional way I've always uh, done this exercise. And even with my palms facing each other, it's a, that's another common way to do the dumbbell press. I can use a lot of weight, but when my palms are faced upwards, I notice it hits a different angle of my chest, my shoulders, and my triceps, and the weight feels a lot heavier. So it's a really good variation. You got to give it a try. And remember, if you like these videos, make sure you subscribe to Travels with Buddy. And make sure you keep training and keep taking those walks. And have an awesome day. And peace out, everybody. And I will shut this camera off manually. Peace.